SCP-028, Object Class Safe. SCP-028 is located in an abandoned storage yard outside a copper mine in northern Michigan. SCP-028 has no detectable physical presence of any kind, but its effect occurs in a 2.1 meter or 7 foot cube around what is commonly held as the center of SCP-028. All forms of scanning and testing in the area of SCP-028 have shown no abnormal readings. Adding or removing objects or attempting to remove dirt from under SCP-028 has no effect on altering the size or shape of SCP-028's area of effect, nor the onset or quality of the effect. Subjects entering SCP-028 are within 3 to 6 seconds struck by total and complete knowledge of a subject. This knowledge is thus far completely random in both size and usefulness, and sometimes goes unnoticed for extended periods of time. More profound knowledge generally has a stronger effect with some cases. This effect can be experienced multiple times by exiting and re-entering SCP-028, but can result in increasingly strong migraines and dizziness after two exposures. SCP-028 came to the Foundation's attention after research into news reports of a local miner who submitted a design for a cold fusion reactor to the U.S. Patent Office. Mr. reported that it just came to me like a bolt out of the blue. News and subjects were suppressed and contained after discovery of SCP-028 and the reactor designs implemented in the containment of SCP-1995. Subsequent testing of SCP-028 has yielded mixed results. Document number EL-028-1114 Partial information retrieval log for 1-5. Note all knowledge is perfect, total, and eidetic. Every phone book entry for New York City in 1998. How to redesign the internal combustion engine to run on human blood using only pre-existing parts. Note full redesign takes 4 hours and runs at higher efficiency than gasoline. Location of keys for a Buick LeSabre. The proper method for, of care for a mole rat colony. Origin and history of 12 SCP objects. Note the main family history of the Blackthorn family located in London, England. Geological structure of the earth beneath Greenland, including several unknown caves. And document number EL-028-1125, log. Subject D-1182 exposed to SCP-028. Subject began to cry and went into fetal position showing signs of high distress, unresponsive to questioning and outside stimulus for several days. Lapsed into catatonia shortly after stating that this is not life. Subject passed into coma and died shortly thereafter. COD was attributed to shock. E-127 Agent accidentally exposed to SCP-028. Agent showed signs of sudden surprise and bemusement. When questioned, agent requested a moment to gather my thoughts, please. After several seconds, agent laughed, shook his head, and removed his service pistol from his holster. Agent then shot and wounded doctor and killed agents and before being restrained. Post-incident Interrogation revealed agent had extensive knowledge of classified Foundation activities and several SCP objects he had not been ex previously exposed to, including SCP-2669. Any Foundation personnel found to have entered SCP-028's area of effect are to be detained indefinitely. Document number EL-028-1128, log. Experiment 189. Subject D-9843 was exposed to SCP-028-03-19 at 1146. Examination of subject revealed abnormal respiratory actions at 1337. Questioning revealed subject had learned to recycle the carbon dioxide inside his body at 1721. Repeated attempts to teach skill to other D-class personnel failed at 1221. Subject terminated at 1503. 
Autopsy reveals no abnormal organ formations at 1837. Researcher notes. Doctor... Seriously? How the hell did he do that? Hey guys, Wicked here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, Wicked out.